Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and today's problem is height in a species of plant can vary between 10 cm and 50 cm and depends on the contribution of four genes A, B, D and E where uppercase alleles are contributing and lowercase alleles are non-contributing. Assume that all additive alleles contribute equally to plant height. And two questions. Question A. How much does each contributing allele add to the plant height? And question B, how many height classes are possible in this species? Here we have four genes and in diploid organism each gene may have two alleles. Whether it can be two recessive alleles, two dominant alleles or one dominant and one recessive allele. And all these genes would produce numerous combinations. And depending on which alleles we have in each locus, this would affect a trait, so we call such genes additive genes, which would add something to the trait. In our case, this is height. So how many classes we are going to have? First variant would be combination when all eight alleles are going to be recessive alleles and none would be dominant. So this is going to be first variant, eight recessive alleles and zero dominant alleles. Another class would be when we'll have seven recessive alleles and one dominant allele. So you got the idea in this column we'll have a reduction of the number of recessive alleles and in this column a number of dominant alleles would increase. So let me speed up a little bit. So we'll have here six recessive alleles, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. And here we are going to have two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight dominant alleles. So let me put also R here, which stands for the recessive allele. And in the next column, I will put D here, which stands for the dominant alleles. So now we have listed all classes. How many classes we have? Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine possible classes. And for example, how tall this plant is going to be? This is going to be minimum set when we'll have zero dominant alleles and all alleles are going to be recessive. The height is going to be 10 centimeters. So this is minimal set, 10 centimeters. This genotype here, which is going to be all dominant alleles. So capital A, capital A, capital B, capital B, capital D, capital D, and capital E, capital E genotype. We have height of this plant, which is going to be 50 centimeters. So 50, it stands for the 50 centimeters. Now let's find how much does each contributing allele add to the plant height. Take a look. 50 centimeters minus 10 centimeters. The height difference between the smallest and the tallest would be 40 centimeters. Now 40 centimeters we divide by 8. So all the difference in height is due to just presence of the dominant allele. Minimum is one and maximum is eight. And this is going to be minimal height of the plant where we don't have any dominant alleles at all. So we have eight variants with the one dominant allele, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and maximum what we can get is going to be eight dominant alleles, hence eight here. We are going to get five centimeters per one dominant allele. For example, what is it going to be a height of this genotype? It's going to be 10 centimeters plus five. This genotype would uh, equal to 10 centimeters plus 10 because we have two dominant alleles here. And here we will have 10 centimeters 
10 plus 15, 10 plus 20, 10 plus 25, 10 plus 30, 10 plus 35. And here we are going to have 10 plus 40, which is 50 centimeters. If you think that all these height classes would be distributed equally, it is not so. Take a look. We will have only one variant when we'll have all alleles, which is going to be recessive, all eight. Only one such combination. But let's check second combination. Seven recessive allele and one dominant. We can get eight different variants. Take a look. For example, only this allele can be dominant and all the rest seven would be recessive. But also this allele can be dominant and the rest can be recessive. Third variant would be when uh, dominant allele would be B and all recessive. So you got the idea. We will have eight such combinations. And if we'll go down this table, what we are going to get here, we'll have all alleles, all eight dominant. Again, only one such combination possible when all eight alleles are going to be dominant. So if we'll build a graph, our graph would look as follows. And this is going to be normal distribution of the additive trait where on one end we'll have the smallest plants, which is going to be 10 centimeters. And on the other end we'll have plants, which is going to be 50 centimeters. And somewhere here we will have highest frequency of the plants, which is going to be 30 centimeters. And in our table, this is going to be this genotype, which is exactly in the middle, four classes to the top, four classes down. And this, which is 10 plus 20, which is here, would be the most frequent. And this two would be the least frequent. And we'll find on our distribution curve them somewhere here. So three on this side and three on this side. So total nine classes. And this also pretty suits the theory that very extreme we'll find in very few quantities. And those who is going to be intermediate we will find in highest quantities. Now let's return to our questions again. How much does each contributing allele add to the plant height? And we have found that this is five centimeters per one dominant allele. And the second question, how many height classes are possible in this species? And we have found that there are nine possible height classes. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.